the two saw each other from a distance and recognized each other's swan voices and then immediately started coming towards each other, which is very, very touching. The male swan is named Mango and his mate is Charlotte. And only the swans really know what they were saying to each other, of course, you know, but we would imagine, you know, it would be something like, hey, you're back. Where have you been for the last few days? So the male swan in this video, we've had him in twice for medical treatment. He actually had fishing line tightly wrapped around his bill and his tongue. And then recently he was noticed in the area with blood on his feathers and he was brought in for treatment at that time. And then we took him back to his area to be released. There's Y37 coming out. I've actually been told that since he was released, they have been seeing mating. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they're getting ready to um, lay their eggs for the year and, um, and raise their babies. Okay, the, the music just sort of brings it home. Uh, trumpeter swans do mate for life. It is mating season. They knew they had to hurry to get them back together. And swans don't take kindly to strangers in their midst. So it's pretty clear those two had some history.